We've uh, talked earlier on in relation to uh, surf lifesavers. Uh, the bronze lifeguard long been considered one of those icons of Australian surf. Uh, these days, though, were Aussie lifesavers as diverse as the Australian population itself. 20 years ago, they welcomed the first women into their ranks. This weekend, uh, we saw Muslim lifesavers patrolling Cronulla Beach in this specially designed burkini. And now for the first time ever, a group of lifesavers planning to march in the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. Ruri O'Connor is a gay lifesaver with Tamarama Surf Club. He's also one of the designers of the Mardi Gras float. And I'm pleased to say he's online. Ruri, good evening. Hi, Stuart. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. How did all of this come about? Well, last year we were watching um, the parade, myself and a friend. Yeah. Also a, a, a lifesaver. And there was uh, people, I think, I don't know, who was dressed up as surf lifesavers. So it was an unofficial surf lifesaving parade uh, float with non surf fly savers in it so that gave us the idea to um, create this float this year and so uh, what's the nature of the float um what what do you mean what's the what's it look like oh well we can't really oh, i see okay at the, uh, at the, now but it's going to be it'll be fun there'll be loads of color yes um there'll be a lot of music we have a really good tune picked which is very upbeat and I think it's very apt. Right. Um, and there'll be the usual uh, yellow uh, top, red shorts and red and white hat people will be wearing. And I'm sure there'll be people in swimmers as well. In swimmers? <laughs> Maybe. All bronzed and buffed? <laughs> well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want any flabby lifesavers, Rory. <laughs> Well, yeah, hopefully not. <laughs> now, one thing is for sure, giving your surf life savers, uh, the float, it will float, won't it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, it will, I'm sure it will, yes. We'll try it later on. <laughs> now, I suppose this sort of thing, I mean, I mentioned earlier on, we've had women lifesavers, we've had Muslim lifesavers, stands to reason we've got gay lifesavers, uh, indicative, I suppose, of the way things have changed over the years. Yes, it's a, well, it's a better reflection of Australian society. Yeah. Um, and certainly along the eastern uh, suburbs beaches, there's a, a large uh, gay contingent of surf lifesavers. So, um, and there's an awful lot of um, gay-friendly surf lifesavers who support us and um, you know, are continuously backing us. So this is um, a good way to show everybody that um, it's like it's a, what a diverse organisation Surf Life Saving Australia is. What's been the reaction from the hierarchy of Surf Life Saving Australia? Yes, they have been. It's been very um, supportive. They have been fantastic, um, and they acknowledge and support all the members that uh, want to participate in that. And they are encouraging, and we're encouraging people as well to. Um, uh, um, March, so uh, yeah, they have been very supportive. Yes. Yeah, and from the from the time that you decided you'd go ahead with it, they didn't have a problem. Um, they probably thought. I remember I, I rang up and I mm -hmm. hear people laughing in the background. Yes. <laughs> they probably thought us with a pinch of salt at the start. <laughs> thought we weren't for real, but uh, yeah, certainly when they saw we were uh, serious and we really were organising it, they have been very supportive. Yes. Now, how many lifesavers do you expect will join the float, and will they all be gays and lesbians? Well, there won't be all gays and lesbians. Um, there'll be gays, lesbians and their supporters, who right. are surf lifesavers. And we've put a call out for all surf clubs around Australia, or all surf lifesavers, uh, who are either gay, lesbian or gay friendly, to come to Sydney um, and join the march. So we are, are hoping, well, definitely above 50, hopefully, um, up to 80. Right, so you could have that many all on the float. Yes, yes. Yes, there's a, there's a lot in the eastern suburbs. <laughs> and then we, have, we have members from Northern Territory, um, from South Australia, Victoria, Gold Coast, from all over Australia contacting us and that they are coming to Sydney and they want to march with us. So now, what course. first prompted you to join Surf Life Saving? Was it a chance to meet other like-minded men or you just wanted to do your bit for the, the community? Uh, well, it's probably both. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> No, I'm only joking. Because uh, Australia has been very good to me, so I felt that I was giving something back to Australia and society in general by uh, doing voluntary community service. So um, it was just kind of a payback for Australian Australia, really. Yeah. How long have you been here for? I, I've been here four years. Right. Yeah. And what sort of work do you do, Ruri? I'm an accountant. Are you? Yes. Yes. Not the stereotypical accountant either. Certainly not. No, I was in the newspaper a few weeks ago, and I. 
there's a few good, <laughs> a few surprised people at work. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. What, so didn't realise you were a surf lifesaver or weren't sure you were gay? Uh, both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which were they more shocked they thought, by, Ruri? They thought I was a boring accountant. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you said, well, hang on a second, I'm not boring. A, I'm a surf lifesaver. B, yeah. I'm gay. Does anyone need mouth to mouth here? <laughs> I'm always offering. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose if you were stuck out beyond the breakers with your hand up, I know one thing's for sure, I wouldn't be arguing. <laughs> yes, I know it's there. Uh, so actually, we do, it's, we do take our job very serious. Yep. And we do have a lot of, uh, we put in an awful lot of effort and mm. training and keeping our skills up to date. So it is, there is a very serious side to um, our job as well. So just so give us an indication. I mean, you work obviously full time through the week in your role as an accountant. Yeah. How much of your own time do you give up each weekend working as a surf lifesaver at uh, Tamarama? Uh, well, it's usually one afternoon every third week that you're rostered for right. um, for for patrol. Then you you can join patrol any other time as well. So usually maybe once a weekend I would spend on patrol once a week. Yeah, one evening a weekend, and then there's also club carnivals and club events as well that kind of help out and fundraising for just local surf clubs as well. And what's the beats like as a pick-up joint, Ruri? <laughs> well, unfortunately, I haven't picked up there, but oh. if people want to come down to Tamarama... <laughs> <laughs> just ask for the non-boring accountant. <laughs> Good on you. Well, you can work out their tax return as well while you're at it, so you're a man full of multitasking. <laughs> Sorry? You're a man full of multitasking. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> yeah, so the, the Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras, it's only a couple of weeks away, isn't it? Yes, on the 3rd of March. 3rd of March, yeah. Yes, yes. so it's All getting right. very close, so we're getting very nervous. So and if anybody is interested, they can visit our website at www.lifesaver2007.blogspot.com and they can read all about us and see how to and uh, register. Or if they have any friends that are Surf Life Savers and want to register as well, we'd be delighted to hear from them. All right, so it, it's www.lifesaver2007.blogspot.com. Blogspot. Right. Dot com. Right, dot com. All right. Very good. Well, good luck with it all. I hope it goes well for you. Do you feel like marching yourself? Uh, no. You good in a pair of swimmers? No, I don't. No, I don't. I wouldn't impose that on anybody. I've got to say, <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't do it. Oh come on! What, you're what sort of progress have you made with the float? Yes, we've actually uh, we've, we're making good progress. Right. Uh, we've got all our sound equipment in place in the lorry, and uh, we're looking for one more financial sponsor. If anybody's interested, we have a we've great sponsorship from Westpac and from Aussie Bum. And we're looking for one more corporate sponsorship, and we've got our lights and our sounds and the lorry and our costumes. Well, obviously, the uniform is in place, yeah. Well, that's right, yeah. Well, there isn't too much to the costume, is there? No, but we have, we're doing uh, dancing as well, so um, to our tune. So there's a lot of practicing going on. Good on you. All right, well, terrific. Good luck with it all, and thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Stuart. Not at all, mate. There he is, Ruri O'Connor, a gay lifesaver with Tamarama Surf Club, and he's getting ready. The float's being geared up, and there they are, March 3 for the gay and lesbian Mardi Gras. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but they're out having some fun, and, of course, on the weekend, doing their bit to safeguard the beaches as well.